What's going on guys? Newton here with MMO Player bringing you guys a skill build guide to Path of Exile. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build Arc. Now this is a very effective skill and a very good one that is really nice for newer players and very early players. Now you can obtain this skill very early on and this is very simple, high damage output and easy skill to build which is really nice. It makes it really good for user or uh, it makes it very user friendly for newer players and it's very effective even later on in the game it does a lot of damage as long as you level it along with you which makes it really nice so let's go ahead and get into our build now by no means do you need a six, a six slot um item to make this build very effective it's actually a very simpler build and you can get away with even um three maybe even four if you want to but three generally you can get the skill pretty darn good so we're gonna go ahead and start off with arc arc is uh how to put it in terms it's like a chain lightning you cast out of one enemy and it's gonna bounce to two others which is not bad it does a good amount of damage and it has a little bit of mobbing potential taking out high density areas but maybe jumping to three enemies is not your ideal mobbing skill or skill to take out huge amounts of enemies maybe three is a little bit too small for you well there's things that make this skill a little bit better we have chain Chain makes the skill jump an additional two times, which is nice. So it has the potential to jump up to five times. If you have five enemies in the area, it's going to jump five times, which is really nice, which is really good. It's, uh, it's a very effective chain lightning type skill, and it does a lot of damage output, and it's going to be very easy for you to use and put into use early on in the game, which is nice. So generally, arc with paired with a chain will make this skill very effective and super effective early on just because it, sh it jumps five times with the high damage output that it does have. Now the more you level up arc, the stronger it will become. The more you level up chain, the less damage it's going to take from the chain skill, ultimately making the build more and more stronger the more you level it up, which is nice. Now these skills are level one, so the damage output I'm showing you guys is very low for what the chain is now, but like I said, I'm level 63. If you get the chain and uh, you get arc up to that level, it's gonna be very, very useful and very effective later on in the game, which is nice. It's, uh, it's a great skill to kind of roll with all the way through. Now, next we're gonna go ahead and pair this with a faster casting. Faster casting is always helpful when uh, with a casting or a spell type move set because um, the more you can kind of shoot it off or cast it within a short duration the more damage output you could do in a shorter amount of time which is really nice you can never go wrong with that so the faster you can cast it the more you can get out the more you can strike the target making it very effective next we can pair it with a spell echo every time we cast it it's going to go ahead and cast out a second arc which is super effective it's super helpful so there's a lot of areas or there's a lot of mobs in an area you're gonna to want to go ahead and cast arc as fast as you can because you wanted to jump to just about every single enemy dealing the most damage you possibly can now this is not a projectile based skill this is not an aob based skill so any other type of support gems that uh kind of roll with other skills that work well will not work well with this one just because it has different type of properties it chains as opposed to being a projectile or it being an area of effect so it's, it's a skill that jumps and has a little bit of a different property but Generally, with arc in uh, chain, uh, these two skills work very well together. They work very nicely, and uh, you can go a very long way with just these two skills. You add a faster casting or a spell echo to it, it's going to be super effective. And already, that's pretty much a really well-built arc. Now, I have two more slots, and like I did in, in uh, my other videos, I'm going to go ahead and throw added elemental damage to make it a little bit uh, more well-rounded. And that's pretty much it. We got a full-built arc. Let's go ahead and test it out in a docks, which is a pretty good leveling area, to kind of show you the potential that this uh, skill has. Now, let's go ahead and use it over here. And as you can see, early on, it's going to be super effective. It does a lot of damage. And as you can see, I'm taking out these mobs very quickly, which is nice. Now, I am rolling in a normal, just because the skill is level 1. So, this is going to be ideally how the skill is going to be working very early on for you. The skill's level 1, I'm using it in early level areas, and as you can see, the damage output is really nice. And the chaining effect of the skill is huge. It can chain to enemies pretty far away, which is really, really nice. So, let's go ahead and keep using it over here. Let's go ahead and cast our auras real quick. And we'll go ahead and keep using it on these stronger mobs, which is really nice. So the damage output on mobs is really nice. The damage output of bosses is going to be very good too. But uh, what really makes this skill nice is the faster casting and the additional chaining, which is going to really maximize the potential damage of this skill. 
But like I said, if you just have Ark alone, just the skill alone, and you're very early on in the game, it's going to be very effective. It works really nicely. Just right off the bat, it's a super effective skill that's going to work fantastically. And it only gets better from there, which is great. It's great for new players. It's great for players uh, even later on in the game. Overall, it's a super well-rounded skill that uh, has a ton of use throughout the whole game. It's not really a build that falls off, and really you're going to get other items and other things like that to build upon it, but generally just the skills alone will get you pretty darn far. So let's go ahead and keep killing a few more mobs to kind of show you the effects and how well this skill works. And that'll be pretty much it. It's a very easy skill, it's a very effective one, one that I enjoy using quite a bit, and I have used it on a lower level character, that's where I did pull this skill from. And uh, I did get quite a good amount of use from it, and it's very effective. I use it, I use it quite a bit, and uh, I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and do this, because get rid of these mobs. And we're going to hit the box right there to kind of get all the mobs into one area. And to show you how effective the skill will be. So let's go ahead and use that. We're going to run away real quick, and start casting and show you. There we go. We just demolished all of those, uh, those mobs right there. Let's go ahead and gather these items, just because I want them. And generally, the mobbing ability and the damage output is fantastic. It's a great skill. I love it. So, um, if you guys have enjoyed this build guide, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.